Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So today is Monday, and that means we are using Ubel Beat. So, update on the whole replacement scenario. I decided today that we will go ahead and announce um, the replacement. I'm going to be announcing it on Friday, the winner, and uh, then, you know, the upcoming week after that, uh, you'll see either what day it is, you'll see double Vitamin Y, one being the deck profile, the deck being taken off, and then... Um, the episode with the new deck replacing it on the same day. So, like I said, I want to leave it till Friday, which means that it leaves both Ubel Beat and Ubel Fire Kings, who are mostly the ones who are getting the uh, getting the finger pointed at, who are the ones to be removed, uh, a chance to uh, you know show their worth and show that they uh, deserve to be on it. So this isn't looking good because I freaking drew Terra again, my first first freaking draw. I swear to God, I mean, why? Why? I mean, I guess I got Dark Grefford, so it's fine, but I don't got any revival in this hand. I need some revival up in this bitch. Some revival. Alright, that's long enough. So he has a 55 card deck, and I was gonna draw a freaking U-Bell, too. Like, are you shitting me? Like, this shit is not playing around. They want me to draw all this shit I don't want to draw. Pass. I mean, I got the bears and the rabbit and the tanky, so that's fine, but... So, uh, update on the comments. Um, just more of the same thing. I'm not sure if it's just a pattern that, you know, you guys wanted to go ahead and do, or is it, like, maybe you guys are... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and activate Tenki. Tenki is gonna go ahead and get me a, uh, wind-up rabbit. A pattern, or are you guys just going with the flow of the trend? You're like, you know what, they, they, they said that. Or are you guys truly believing that, uh... You guys totally want those particular decks to go because literally it's just fire can you belt, you will beat fire can you belt, you will beat fire can you belt. And I know that I said I'm gonna give a week and you know give every other deck an opportunity to prove itself, but it really doesn't seem like you guys want anything else to leave. It's just fire can you belt and, and you will beat. Actually, one person commented and said either or. It's like, why, you know? Like, is, is there that much hate for these two decks? Like I said, I, I give you guys my personal opinion on it, and you know. Fire King Ubel, I can understand, because that's not even really a Ubel deck. It's pretty much Fire Kings with uh, Ubel, three first one Ubels, an ultimate, and Terra Tosta, and everything else is pretty much what you mostly see in Fire King, so I can understand that. But what's up with Ubel Beat? I personally, I like Ubel Beat. I think it's unique, you know? I think it's kind of funny to have, you know, Bear throwing these chairs actually have a deck in Vitamin Y that can play Tanky to play Bear and then wind up rabbits, have Terra Incarnate wipe all hop out of the way. I think it's funny. I, I think it, I think it's really enjoyable. You guys are still kind of pointing fingers at Ubel Beat. I mean, I don't understand. Maybe it's because it doesn't have any back row? You know, I'm, I should personally, unless, unless I'm going for something really competitive, like, you know, trying to win at locals or win at some tournament, I really don't really like playing back row, and I don't like getting back row played against me, because I feel like it kind of saps the fun out of the game, you know, where you're in a constant fear of getting wound up by your opponent, and, um, you know, I just personally don't find it that enjoyable, alright, so you're going to banish the summon Hyperion, are you going to banish a fairy to pop? Nope, you're going to summon, uh, this card, this, this card, this destroy the balance, oh, okay, oh, okay. Sure. Sure. Who are you destroying? Is it card or... Yep, talking to card on the field. So go ahead and destroy whatever you want. I don't really care. Sure. I don't care. I do not care. Sure. I'll take that too. No. Like I said, and I think there's a like, unique flair to this one. So I'm going to go ahead and normal summon. Fact. You can go ahead. Now since I know that you're playing, you know, you know, fairies, I kind of feel like I want to kind of wait. Because if you want to play Herald of Orange Light, you can. This is kind of dangerous, because if he summons a level 4, he can go for a... He can go for a black ship. And really, that's the best I can do right, with this hand right now. Like I said, I would love memory verse calls, etc., etc. Cetera, et cetera. But right now, this is the best I can get out of this deck. You know, the bridge dragon. At least I could take the Ubel and ram it into his monster. But right now, the best I can pull out right now is Mass Chameleon. So the struggle is real. This doesn't have any more fairy bullets with Master Hyperion right now. 
but I'm just worried about him going like another floor, exceeding into like black ship or something. Nope, he's just gonna come after me. Alright. Fact. Oh, Terra's in the graveyard. I forgot that I drew it. I forgot that I drew it, so. Its effect resolves in grave. Its effect is negated while on the field. That's why you could destroy me by battle. But when I get destroyed and I go to the graveyard, that's when my effect activates. I love how these people on DN are constantly questioning, you know, the effects of Ubel against a guy whose name Ubel Mastery. It's kind of like pointless, you know. It's like, really? Really? It's like it's like it's it's like arguing with Obama on how to be a president. So you gain three thousand life points. Why do you gain three thousand life points? Why did you gain three thousand? What made you gain three thousand life points? I don't understand. Oh, never mind. Never mind. You should probably should have said effect. This card destroys one of them. Increase your life points on another one. Okay. Um. Probably. Uh, prob. We should say effect. You know, effect of my card. You don't just randomly just do shit. Cause that's confusing. Yeah, like effect of my monster. Whatever, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm just gonna leave it alone. I am okay. Breathe, Daniel. Breathe. Do not smack the living fuck out of this guy. You will. Effect. You see how I said effect, so you know exactly what's going on? Cause literally, it just looked like you just wanted to gain 3,000 life points, and it literally looked like you just cheated. So, you know, you gotta keep in mind, this shit isn't automated. You know? You gotta work with me here. Oh, alright, sure. This is a good matchup. Hopefully I can survive enough Hyperions. That's gonna be the real struggle. Activate Valhalla and Special Summon. Uh, Air Knight Parshath, alright. That's fine. No, that's fine. You got anything else you want to do? Because you know, I can't be destroyed battle and I take no damage, so I don't really give a shit about Air Knight Parshath. Guess how many fucks I give for Air Knight Parshath? None. <laughs> I don't care if you have Pierce. I take no damage. When you can't inflict damage to me, you don't get to draw a card. So, thank you for kind of wasting your par shaft by summoning that. Yep. You bells a fucking beast. Ah, I got nothing to do. In fact, go ahead and wipe you. I don't care. You got a lot of these flip effects, like freaking Nova and maybe like a Marshall on or something. Or nope, just 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 some balls. Let's do that. I don't want you, you know, dropping Hyperion on my ass. Because I don't believe you have any more agents. Nope, you know you don't. So, you're down on resources. You don't have any more agents to go ahead and banish the summon unless you have some in your hand. Really wouldn't mind that, though. You go banish summon. So that'd be your two cards in your hand. You go banish pop. I get ultimate nightmare. And then I'll just kill your Hyperion. So, no, I totally wouldn't mind that. Ooh, Lemon Reverse definitely will take that. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and summon a rabbit, and let's begin the beatdown. Just punch, 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 punch! We're gonna lay down the smackdown, we're gonna get that elbow drop. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with me? I don't even want to set the limit reverse. Because I know he, as soon as he goes to the MST, he's probably gonna pick, space it, so. You know, we don't run multiple terrors, not in my house. Oh, oh, I'll oh, chain. 
My bad, I wasn't paying attention. Mm. Got a subscriber, that's good. Yeah, okay. I really do need to like set a schedule for when I'm gonna do these videos. Definitely. You know. Especially not since I'm on my summer break and I'm not doing much with my day. I can set it outside. Uh If you have central in Scotland, please expect some miscarp from here with Patron, you can send one injured monster blah 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 blah. Hey, that's fine. Draw. You come back. Do, 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 do. I'm up on resources and winning. 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 I'm Summer Rabbit. Phase. Fact. Chain Rabbits. Multiple. See? 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 You about beat. It's doing its job. Sitting on tear, wiping, while the rabbits hop away. And then I have beaters, you know? So, he can keep on playing monsters. I'll keep wiping them, or he can. Not, <laughs> you know, I don't really care. Oh, do you want to throw you into the bunch? Yeah, let's throw Thunderbird into the bunch. Oh, yeah, Thunderbird, go ahead and do your job. Kill him. He takes no damage, though, which is fine. I don't care that he doesn't. Ooh, honest, sure, sure. So I take you, I take your damage, sure. I do not care. That just confirmed that you got nothing. You got nothing, son. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and activate pot. I hope it was worth it. Mm. Yes, all the revival. More revival for me, please. But that's fine. I totally don't care. That's the less cards you got in your hand. Shit, I could take the 1600. So, effect and chain rabbits once again. So, you two go ahead, go away, and we're up on resources, so that's great. Go ahead. I hope it was worth it. I really do. I hope the honest play was worth it. I can I can stall out all day. I can stall out all day. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of typing it. Getting tired of typing it. <laughs> tired of typing it. Oh, no with someone just like I thought it would be. Sooner or later you're just gonna run out of shit to set and then I'm gonna start getting that damage and so It's not like I'm afraid of back row. Another monster, alright, sure. I got six cards in hand, alright, let me keep track of that. So you two come back. Ah Over and over and over. Oh, consecrated light. You're cute. You're cute. Too bad I'm already on the field. You're cute. It's like you're siding out against me already, but it's only for this duel. This isn't a card that you should be main decking, because you're not always going to go against a freaking monster like that. You're not always going to go... Oh, oh, so it, it, it's Herald. Oh, it's Herald too. All right. You're not always going to go against a dark deck. Like, you know. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right. All right. So he's got Herald. That's cool. I'm going to summon Thunderbird. Send the bird, gonna get the job done this time. You gonna learn today. You gonna learn today. You gonna learn today. Even, oh, yeah. Even if you pull off Harold, you still don't have any fairies to discard it, so I don't get shit. So, go ahead and do the routine. Vanishing everybody. Ah, you won't be so relaxing. Oh, and he scoops it up. He quits. Oh, uh, we're like 14 minutes. We can get one more in. Make it a little bit longer for you guys. Yeah, especially since you'll be, you know, contending to be one of the decks to stay. You know? Like I said, we're going to give it a week. If you guys want to go ahead and, you know, take back your offer. And, and for those of you who say you about beat, you know, you can, go, you can go ahead. You got a week. You got to wait till Friday. To be like, you know what? I'm sorry, you Bell Beat. 
you're actually pretty viable on Vitamin Y. You you bring something new to the table that no other deck on Vitamin Y brings, and that's Troll. <laughs> Evil Beat brings out the Troll aspect of Evel. You know, just sitting on terror, wiping the fields, hopping out of the way. You know, I feel I feel more safe with this deck than a lot of other Evel decks because I can hop out of back row. I can hop out of the way of back row. You know, like summon Thunderbird, bottomless. Okay. Three prison, mirror force. Okay, I'm gone as well. You know, I feel more safe, more safe with this deck. All right, well, I drew you Bell, but at least I got Dark Greffer. So as long as he doesn't get hit with back row, we can set up. His hand's not bad. His hand's not bad as long as. Oh, well, actually, I might just go discard special. Yeah, I'll probably go discard special. Someone I'm gonna get send something else. Oh no, I don't want to duel against ninjas. I hate dueling against ninjas. Dueling against ninjas is like dueling against a deck with a searchable creature swap, because all they're going to do is tribute my monsters, because that's kind of annoying. Oh. No, thank you. Is all you pick is scissors? I guess. I guess. Yeah. It's probably not a duel that you B can't handle. His hand's pretty good. As long as you open up with a revival card or sender card, and you know your beat plays, you're you're, you're pretty you're in a decent uh, position. So what are we facing, Mister Good Luck? Have fun. One monster, one back row. One monster, one back row. All right, I'm going to summon Armageddon Knight. Effect. Eh, not a fire. Lots of people like to quit because they assume I'm using Infernities. What? No. It's Ybell! Yay! It's -a me! Yo, well, it doesn't work because Ybell is only two syllables and Mario is three, so. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, we're going against you guys. Okay, I guess. I'm the Yang Zing. I like Cosmic better. This isn't a good matchup, because, you know, I like to destroy by card effects, and these guys like to, you know, go off when they are destroyed by card effects, so... Obviously, this isn't a good matchup, but... Huh, what you gonna do, right? So, we're just waiting on you, sir. You got five cards in hand, so you should be at least be able to pull off something. But this isn't a good matchup at all. <laughs> and I don't believe that I run Black Ship in this deck. Oh, yeah, I do. Awesome. Awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon Mass Chameleon. Effect. Okay, sure. I still get my effect, though. Because <sighs> I was still normal summoned. And this card is normal summoned. Do, 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 do. That was a waste of bottomless, to tell you the truth. That was a waste of a bottomless. No, I'll just pass. Uh, this is bad. Why are you clicking my U bell? Go ahead. It's effects. Effect. It's negated. Yeah, this isn't good. And then he can return me to the deck when he sink or summons. Yeah, this isn't good. This is a terrible matchup. Oh well. What you gonna do, right? Once again, another person questioning me on how to play you bell. One, two, three, four, five. I'm ready. Yep. 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 Dandelion and, and Cosmic Dragons. Alright. 
what? He has one of the effects which effect is unaffected by spell cards. Sure. And I draw Ultimate Nightmare. Awesome. It's totally what I wanted to do. Alright, I'm gonna activate Tenki. Okay. I mean, you already used Bottomless, so... At least I don't have to worry about you bottomless in my bear or something. Okay. It's long enough. Long fuck enough. I'm going to... Normal Summon Bear. Okay. Okay, guessing it's fine. Bear effect. I will throw a chair at your mighties. Bah! Get that chair. Sure. Sure. Don't care. Alright. Going to battle phase. You get a token. You get a token. We'll go ahead and overlay into black ship. Actually, you know what? Why overlay into black ship? We can overlay into 101 since he special summoned it. 101. Effect. Give me that. I'll go ahead and overlay and pass to you. I mean, overlay, I mean set and pass to you. I mean, I did overlay, but... Yeah. Alright. Another set. Probably set another monster, I'm assuming. No. Alright, he's just gonna let it go. He's just gonna let it fucking go. No. No complaints with that. I'm going to summon a rabbit. Okay. Breakthrough scale. Okay. <laughs> okay. Attack for 14. Attack for 21. Like, okay. I'm my turn. Okay. Mm hmm. Turn around it. Bell is summoned. Chain resolves backwards, so one, two, three, so one, your bell is summoned, two, you get banished, and three, their calls goes off. Effect. And we'll go ahead and summon Terra. That was a cute play. Thank, I mean, thank you for the dark hole. Thank you. I mean, I was wondering how I was going to summon you, Bell. I had the call of the haunted. I was, it was like the struggle, and you, you just went like, oh, nope, 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 nope. Here you go. Here you go. So thank you. Alright, Mr. Zingyang, go ahead and show me your true power. Ah, uh, said a monster. What a big surprise. His deck is not very shocking. His plays are really obvious, too. And the struggle right now is... I don't got any force. Fire effect, you fetch summon one Zeng Ying monster from your deck, not special summon from your monsters from your extra deck except for synchro summons. Okay. That's just period. Yeah, that's just period. So he can't exceed anymore. He can only go into synchro summons. Alright. So I'm trying to think what I want to do. Thing is, I got. I'm, I'm running two bears in the stack, so I can go Tenky get another chair, but what's the point? Because he's just going to get destroyed by card effect. Actually, if I do destroy him by card effect, he would only get this once per turn, but then all his other synchros would go off. Eh, ugh. Ah, I really don't like this matchup. No, no I don't. Not even remotely do I like this matchup. I activate Tenki. I think I got a plan. 
think I got a pretty decent plan. Go ahead and get another rabbit. Go ahead and normal summon the rabbit. And let's go ahead and start trying to clear up, unless this guy has so much D that I can't get over it. Yep, he does. So that's fine. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll pass to him. Uh, I have plenty of life points. End phase. Uh, go effect. Chain rabbits. So you summon one from him, and then you summon one from your trap card. Past you. Like I said, the matchup is not good. And no, the thing is that every single time I kill one of their freaking things, another one comes back. It's just like, damn. Like, I can't clear the field and make room enough for my beat plays to go through. I was trying to think, just keep in mind, my two rabbits will be coming back, so if you want to go for some big synchro play, just keep in mind, you know, my two rabbits will come back, I'll probably make a Zen mains, I'll probably crash into you, detach, and blow you up at the end phase, so... Just keep that in mind. So. At least you're up on resources, but, you know, the only reason why you're up on resources is because you keep on making more resources. So I don't have to worry about him exceeding, so... At least I don't have to worry about him doing like a black ship or something. This duel is taking forever. That is because he's using the cosmic dragon, so it's taking forever. I mean, if you summon your level 1 tuner guy, you can go ahead and make a B-Rose, but then, you know, the B-Rose with the whole extra 500 and the unaffected by trap cards. I mean, you don't have to worry about it with this deck. This deck doesn't have any background like that, so you don't have to worry about it being unaffected by trap cards or spell cards or whatever, so... Really, the choice is yours. I don't really care. So, uh, water, wind, fire... I think they have earth. Do they have Earth? I can't remember. I don't know. He put them all back. He has Light. I mean, if that's all they're gonna do for the Archetype, then... That's it, then, I guess. And when you get those element-based Archetypes, that's when they struggle. <laughs> Goes in that. <laughs> That'd be funny if you actually did that. <laughs> Goes in match, like, it'd just be like, mmm, the struggle. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you know, this deck is cute. It's a cute deck. I don't ever see it being competitive. It's too slow. It gets. Control decks would troll the hell out of this deck. Like Bujans. Ugh, you're taking forever! Oh, you're just gonna normal summon mass command? That's fine. Scrap dragon? No, start us. That's fine. So it gains an additional five hundred, yeah? Yeah, additional five hundred. Alright, that's cute. And then you'll leave the field and then you come back and then you Ah, uh, you could mm, no. draw standby phase. You come back and you come back. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let me try to figure this out. I think I got a plan. I think I got a plan, and this plan's gonna whoop some ass. I can overlay these two into um. This, this, this card. 
Nope, nope, doesn't say anything about me not being able to do that. Overlay these two into Lebier, summon him back. Go ahead and summon the Phantom of Chaos. Next scene, turn on the 101 and eat his Stardust. Hmm? 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 That's a good plan, Daniel. Daniel, son, that is a good idea. You are smart. You are strong. You are strong like bull. <laughs> Go ahead and get my effect down. And then, I mean, I could sink or summon, but I'm not strong enough to run over the Stardust because he's that strong right now. So I'm going to go ahead and normal summon you. I'll go ahead and overlay you two because I haven't normal summoned this turn. We'll go ahead and go into another 101. Get my effect on. Go ahead and eat you. Oh, you're just going to quit. Alright, that's awesome. <sighs> so, as you can see, you belt beat. You know, can it stay? Is it convincing you guys? I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Y. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with Play Glitches U Bell. Thanks for watching.